आई एम दिनल पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एस एम सी कॉलेज ऑफ डेयरी साइंस आनंद आई एम वन ऑफ द कंटेंट राइटर ऑफ पेपर नंबर थर्टीन फूड एडिटिव मॉड्यूल नंबर थर्टीन फोमिंग एंड एंटी फोमिंग एजेंट्स इन अ फूड इंडस्ट्री एज नेम सजेस्ट फोमिंग एजेंट दैट मीन्स इट्स एन एरेटेटिंग एजेंट दैट विल इम्पार्ट एन एरेसन टू द फूड स्टफ एंड द काउंटर एक्टेटरी द एंटी फोमिंग एजेंट दैट विल डिप्रेस इज द फोम द बोथ आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू द फूड इंडस्ट्री एंड दैट्स वाई दे आर टू बी डिस्कस्ड इन दिस मॉड्यूल सो लेट्स सी दर एप्लीकेशन वन बाय वन फोमिंग एजेंट्स फोमिंग एजेंट्स ऑल्सो नोन एज एरेटिंग एजेंट्स फोमिंग एजेंट इज एडिटिव दैट फैसिलिटेट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फोम and make it possible to form or a maintain a uniform dispersion of a gaseous phase in a liquid or a solid food products these compounds have been suggested for a use in a preparation of certain toppings cakes and cake mixes coffee whiteners whipped creams beverages and certain soft drinks such additives are discussed here the important foaming agent is propylene glycol esters of fatty acids it is an excellent aerating and a foam stabilizing properties in a whipped dessert and a topping powders it is effective aerating agent in a baked good and in a softening especially in a combination with the distilled monoglycerides it is widely used in a cake batters margarine softening powder desserts toppings synthetic cream etc the next additive is glycerizing it is widely used in a baked goods a dairy products especially a frozen dairy desserts fruit vegetables and nut products certain beverages especially a non alcoholic beverages soft drinks including a root beer some sugar sugar preserves and a confectioneries it is also used in alcoholic drinks generally known as a liquors it is also applied in a vinegar pickles and a sausages especially a soya sauce and other application include a tobacco products chocolate vanilla certain medicines gelatin based product puddings chewing gum etc the next ingredient is alginic acid in the food industry it is rarely added directly to the food composition it is produced in situ with a sodium alginate and it is used in acidic food stuffs the alginic acid is also used in some formulated alginate products for stabilizing the ice cream and certain whipped dairy creams the next category of ingredients is polysorbates polysorbate 20 40 and 60 polysorbate 20 40 and 60 is a widely used within the food industry as a surfactant the surfactant properties also lead to use in improving the volume and a texture of the cake the dispersion of the coffee whiteners and the aeration dryness and a texture of a whipping cream it is used to stabilize sausages and dressings and in a bakery margarine 
to improve aeration, cake volume and a texture. The typical polysorbates related products includes cakes and cake mixes, coffee whiteners, whipped cream that is based on dairy as well as the vegetable fat, margarine, salad dressing and the sausages. The next Ingredient is a lactic acid esters of mono and diglycerides of the fatty acids, which is generally known as the lactams. The lactams are used in a combination with the other emulsifiers in a whipped topping concentrates, and it is also act as an irritating and emulsifying agent for the cake sponges to produce a narrow pore size distribution in the crumbs. In a mouses, this combination of emulsifiers are used to produce a consistent aeration and to maximize the volume. The lactam are also used in a baking margarines and the typical product includes a cake and a whipped toppings. The next ingredient is culea that is culea extract that is generally used in a beverage basis, beverage mixes and certain soft drinks. The next is a saponin. Saponin is also used in a beverage basis, beverage mixes and a soft drink. Sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is also act as an foaming agent and it is used in a various unstandardized confectionaries. Apart from these mentioned above additives, certain additives are also functioning as a foaming agent and these ingredients include ammonium alginate calcium alginate, calcium steroid lactylate, hydroxypropyl cellulose, methyl ethyl cellulose, microcrystalline cellulose which is generally known as a cellulose gel, nitrous oxide, potassium alginate, propylene glycol alginate, sodium alginate, Sodium steroid lactylate, xanthan gum, etc. After seeing certain foaming agents, now let's move towards the application of anti foaming agents. Anti foaming agents are also known as a de foaming agents, and the beauty of these ingredients is the small quantity that is to be up to a 10 ppm is more than sufficient to suppress the foam or sometimes it may eliminate complete formation of the foams. So let's see which are the ingredients can be act as an anti-foaming agent. Anti-foaming agents, it is the substance used to reduce a foaming caused by a protein or a gases that may be interfere with the processing. The foaming may be largely suppressed or completely eliminated, eliminated by the use of the small quantities generally at 10 ppm. Sometimes such a small quantity is more than sufficient to depress the foams. A certain anti foaming agents are discussed here with the first one is polyoxyethylene stearate. Polyoxyethylene stearate is made by reacting a stearic acid with a polyoxyethylene that is a polymer of ethylene oxide. The polyethylene stearate 
is permitted only in the wine and that has been imported from certain countries where it is used to inhibit the foam formation during the fermentation step the another ingredient is a polyoxyethylene sorbitan tristeate that is generally known as a polysorbate 65 it is used to hold the fat in ice cream to give a dry eating characteristics and to retard the development of fat bloom in a chocolate products the fat bloom is an most common defect in a chocolate industry it is used to reduce of foam forming during the food processing the polysorbate 65 has an waxy and somewhat possesses a bitter taste the typical applications include uh, ice cream and frozen desserts sugar confectioneries cakes and cake mixes coffee whiteners and whipped cream based on dairy and vegetable fat the next ingredients are sodium potassium magnesium and calcium salts of fatty acid the salts of fatty acids have a range of uses usually derived from their fatty acid component thus they are a deforming agent they may act as a anti caking agent as well as they can act as a free flow agent magnesium stearate is used to help a powder flow during the tableting the other fatty acid salts are used to decrease a foam during the processing of a bit sugar that is bit sugar chewing gum and as a yeast activity promoter next category of the ingredient is acetic acid esters of mono and diglycerides of the fatty acids which is generally known as an acetams in the preparation of the jam and marmalades acetams are used as a anti foam to add a filling and a present a neat unbubbled surface acetams are also used to manipulate the melting point and the plasticity of the fats the next ingredient include a five sorbetian esters these sorbetian esters includes sorbitan monosterate sorbitan tristeate sorbitan monolorate sorbitan monoleate and a sorbitan monopamiate These sorbitan esters are used as an anti-foaming agents in a production of a bit sugar, boiled sweets, and a preserves. They are also used to modify a fat crystal structure in a chocolate that will inhibit the development of the storage defect that is known as a bloom, chocolate bloom. The next broad category is fatty acids. the fatty acids include a stearic acid palmitic acid and oleic acid they can be used alone or in a mixers the fatty acids have a number of functions that includes a plasticizers for a chewing gum and an anti foaming agent for a jams the next ingredients are dimethyl polysiloxan that is a silicon silicon oil or dimethyl silicon dimethyl polysiloxan is a mainly used as an anti foaming agent but it is also used to stop a hot liquids from sticking to the equipments so they can act as a anti sticking material also 
it is useful in a product such as jam a preventing a frothing when a boiling and in a carbonated drinks which tends to froth when being filled into the bottles and a cans dimethyl polyxylolene formulations used as an anti foaming agent in apple fig pineapple marmalades jam and jelly reconstituted lemon juice reconstituted lime juice shortening skim milk powder and a wine the another ingredient is a propane 1 to dial the propane 1 to dial is also known as a propylene glycol a propylene glycol can be used as an anti caking agent it can be used as an emulsifier it is a good floor treatment agent it is a humectant it can be used as a stabilizer it is a good thickener it also a good carrier of the solvents and importantly it is act as an anti foaming agent these anti foaming agent possess a molecular weight around in between 3000 to 9000 is widely used in a soft drinks now this table shows the important anti foaming agents permitted in the food products in india according to food safety standards authority of india such ingredients like dimethyl polyxylone and a mono and a diglycerides of fatty acids and edible oils are applicable in certain food products the maximum use of these anti foaming agents are restricted to only a 10 ppm the food products applications like jam jellies fruit cheese fruit marmalades culinary paste and other sauces concentrated fruit vegetable juice pulp purees chutney fruits and oblique or vegetable a mango chutney a green chili paste ginger paste garlic paste onion paste whole chili paste some meat products like tallow lard edible edible vegetable oil and fats a thermally processed foods like pineapple and their usage with limitation of gmp to 10 ppm maximum so by this module we come to know the various foaming as well as the anti foaming agents and their application into the food industry also the foaming agent does not possess a possess any indian standards but few of the anti foaming agents have mentioned into the fssai standards and their limit is up to 10 ppm thank you